Hey guys, I finally went in the store and got what I had to get. And I'm heading back home now. Cause like I say, we had snow on the ground uh, last night. It's not much, but uh, it's on the ground. It's getting to the point now you can't tell the spring from the winter. And it's about um, 35, almost 38 degrees here in the city. And you know, it says this in the Bible that we won't know the days from the nights and winters from the summer or spring. And if we don't pay attention, which I try to do on a lot of the stuff that it says in the Bible, you know, we'll look up and he'll be here. But I'm hoping and praying that he continues to give us a chance on the life that we live, especially on his earth that he created for us, which we take advantage of each and every day and don't appreciate what he's done for us. You know, it's only a few that does. I was looking at the news the other night where they're saying, where they had pictures over in China where they're talking about where this epidemic came from that they were putting black people out of their apartments and homes and shun them and you know they were sleeping on the street because the news is constantly talking about how many people and what race who has the virus the most and people listen to stuff and now he's gotten to the point there in that area that they were speaking about. You saw people of that race over in China were throwing bricks and sticks and, you know, just like bullies messing with little children, picking at the black race that was there, not wanting him there because people are telling them it's a black disease which is not, it's all race. You know, and we can't point the finger at one because it's just out here for all of us. And for someone to pick on you because of what they're hearing on the news to take the blame off themselves of what's going on, they have to find someone to blame. And I'm not surprised that people pointing fingers at someone because they've been pointing finger at people for hundreds of years for stuff that's going on in this world. And we have to stop doing that because we're all God's children. We have, might have different beliefs and what we think, what God is and what people are. And it shouldn't be that way. And it's gonna come a time when our Heavenly Father sends His Son back here, it's gonna come a time when we all gonna have to stand before Him and be judged for everything that we've done, you know, in our lives and on this planet. And you can't point a finger at someone and say it wasn't my fault because He watches us all. You can't point a finger and say, you know, they made me do it because you know what you're doing. We all know what we do. We have a conscience. We know when we're doing something wrong, but we do it anyway. This is how crimes and anything that comes about in life for people, for us, of hurting people, because we let our conscience, you know, tell us, you know, to go ahead and do it. But no one is seeing us. Someone's always watching. Our Heavenly Father is always watching us. So I ask you guys, don't point a finger. Please don't. Don't point a finger at one race or someone for something that's happening to all of us. All of us. You know, we have to stick together as a people and quit pointing that one finger and say, you did that. Because when you point your finger at someone, you know, you hurt someone else. 
You might cause an innocent person to be hurt because you're pointing your finger. So don't point a finger at guys. Please don't. Don't point a finger at people. You know, this is something that's happening to all of us. All of us. And until we stop pointing a finger and stop constantly listening to the news, there's, there's nothing wrong with listening to the news, but quit listening to the finger that sometimes people point. It hurts us all. It hurts us all. I'm going to go in the house, guys, because I don't want to get lost in this conversation with you guys because it's been a couple of days since I talked to you. But I just ask you as a people, as a people, not as a race, as a people, please stop. Stop pointing that finger. This is your girl, Miss J. And I will be talking with you guys soon. And thank you so much for coming in and viewing me. I'm praying and hoping that your family is doing well with good health. And for all of those who have lost a loved one because of what's going on, my prayers are with you, you and your family. For all those volunteers, those doctors, those nurses, the food that they're giving to people that can't afford to get anything to eat right now, the struggles that we all are going to, I pray and hope that we have better days ahead. You guys have a beautiful Friday and a beautiful weekend is coming up. Stay safe. Stay in if you have to. If you have to run to the store, or run an errand, do it. Be safe. Come back in. Put your mask on, your gloves on. If you don't have mask and glove, make one. If you don't have these that's on my hand, put your gloves on, your wintertime gloves. I have both, guys. I have these here. If I run out of gloves, I have a scarf here in the car that I put on when I no longer have this mask to put on. Just be safe, guys, and look out for each other and stop pointing that finger at others for blame. Have a blessed one, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.